The Japanese have already started uh, intervening. They intervened yesterday as the dollar yen approached 146. Uh, you know, we think that in the short term, of course, uh, they will keep it up. Um, but in the end of the day, it's, it's, it's really futile, uh, unilateral intervention, when the fundamentals are very clear, right? Uh, the, the monetary policy divergence between the Fed on the one hand and the BOJ on the other is, is, is very obvious to everybody in the market. Uh, and this, of course, feeds into this growing yield differential between the U.S. and, 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 and Japan in, in the U.S. dollar's favor. So really, the fundamentals do point to you know, further upside in dollar-yen. And, and, and we do think dollar-yen will reach 150 by early next year. Uh, the yeah. intervention now, yes, it stops it for, at, its, at its tracks for now. But inevitably, the, the fundamentals will, will, will continue driving it higher. But isn't it just a way of squeezing out all of the shorts? By, inter by doing the, the intervention, they're basically trying to ameliorate the situation they had with all of the, the volatility because of all of the speculative shorts that were on the, the short end. So now, in a sense, it allows for what you're saying in terms of the fundamentals to take over as opposed to them being at the mercy of the, the money coming in on it. Uh, yes, well, in, in the sense that it does uh, reduce the pace of the advance, uh, for sure. And of course, we're also seeing that, uh, frankly, in, uh, in, in dollar room B, uh, where, you know, there's not been outright intervention, but, but, but clearly the PBOC is trying to restrain the pace of the, of, of the advance of basically the U.S. dollar. Uh, so, yes, it, 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 you know, retards the, the advance, but inevitably uh, it, it will go higher over time. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's the inflation angle as well, right? Wouldn't that push the BOJ to pivot? I mean, somewhat, because you've seen that happen with, the, uh, with uh, the ECB in Europe, right? Because of the energy crisis, because of uh, the soaring cost of living, they had to move and move quickly. I just wonder that, you know, suddenly inflation would... Right now, they're welcoming inflation, but suddenly it might come to a point where it goes beyond the threshold, it goes beyond their tolerance level, and then they have to suddenly move and move fast. Well, I think that inflation in Japan is actually still pretty much uh, well under control. I mean, uh, you know, call Japanese uh, in inflation only around 3%. So it's still far lower than what we are definitely seeing in, say, you know, the Western countries. So I, I, I don't think there is a sense of urgency on the part of the BOJ. I think that's quite clear from, from Kuroda's statement yesterday. So as, as a result of all this, you know, I, I, it's very unlikely that the Bank of Japan is about to embark on policy normalization. Uh, and, 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 and so, you know, at least for the, you know, at least for the next, let's say, six months or so, well, at least until Kuroda's term in office uh, continues, then, you know, I very much doubt that the BOJ is, is going to shift away. And, and this, therefore, argues that, the, you know, for okay. the dollar-yen to rise uh, further. Yes.